Hello and welcome back everyone. It's a beautiful week and uh, this week is going to be quite interesting because we are going to be building the rest uh, of the screens at least to some extent for the functionality we are trying to recreate. So without much uh, talk, let's go ahead and start designing. But before we start, I want us to do a few adjustments okay, here and there. So go back to Dio app. Remember I said we are going to make some adjustments. So let me come in here. Just select this iPhone, okay, where we have all those forms, okay, uh, because I want to go ahead and change, you know, this uh, particular label here, this grade 900. I want us to use, um, uh, that's our deep, um, deep blue, okay. So once you come to grade 900, you want to come down here where you have neutral gray, you know, selection color, not on fill, because on fill, you are going to see only the color for this particular iPhone, but we want to affect everything here. So we go down to selection colors. Now where you have gray 900, remember, make sure you're on selection colors, okay? Then where you have neutral 900, click on it, and you want to scroll back up, and we want to choose this um, primary 900. So what that is going to do, is to change all this to gray, uh, to our dark blue, okay? So that is what you want to do. Now for our outline, I would really want us to change these outlines, okay? So for our outlines, I'm just going to select this, okay? Select this one. And right now you can see it's neutral 500. I want us to go ahead and make it a gray 100. Yes, let's use 100, okay? Let's use 100. Now, if everything is working fine, it should have effects on our pages. Okay, great. So you can see our sign-in, they've changed, okay? They've all changed, okay? Um, the next one, again, let's move to here. This place where we particularly have this user input, okay? Uh, this one, that which one is uh, is active? Okay, this is off. So this one that is user input on, let's also go and change that color. Instead of neutral 900, we also want to have um, that blue primary 900. Please make sure you go through this carefully, okay? If you are not on the same page with me, make sure you go through this carefully. And then we have this particular one. When it's not very active, okay, this particular one now, let's also make it, um, let's go there and choose. Let's see. That is uh, neutral 700. Let's go back to our uh, blue. Let's uh, choose blue 200. I'm just going to see if this is okay or should we use blue 100. Okay, let's go with 100. Uh, because this is too sharp. So I just want us to harmonize the colors a little bit. So go there and make it 100. Okay, I think this is good to go. So let's come back here. And yes, so because we barely want to see this in as, in as much as we might be considering accessibility, but we really, we barely want to see this actually, okay? Let's come in here. What's this? This is gray, what's? This is gray 900. Okay, we also want to make this particular one neutral, uh, primary 900, okay? I just want us to use this blue, dark blue for it. Okay, it's, it's, it's going to look better. So primary 900, I think we've sorted that out, okay? And then we also want to arrange here to make sure for the distance between here and this dashboard should be 40, not 38. So 40, okay? I don't know if I mistakenly shifted it, but measure it and make sure it's 40. So since we've done 40, that means we should come here and move this down. Remember we are using uh, 16 between them, okay? So this is 14, 15, 16, okay, perfect. Uh, let's also come in here and check something. Is 16, right? Okay, 16, okay, great. And the distance here is 32. Okay, I'm thinking we might uh, move it up a little bit to 24 since we are using 16, so, okay, let's leave it at 32, okay. Uh, okay, well, let's do 24, let's do 24. So we're just adjusting uh, things here, 24, okay. 
Okay, I think that's fair enough. But uh, at least looking like I prefer the 62, uh, the 32. But so let's go in 900. Yes, so this two, gray 900 to that uh, primary 900. Okay, the same here, the black is the black that we changed here, not the gray. So the black should give us the primary, the black should be converted to primary 900. Okay, okay. Same goes to this category, and we also want to make that primary 900. Primary 900, okay, okay, good. We are good to go. Okay, so before we go, there are some components I arranged that you need to bring in. So open the design, design gate helper file and bring in those components. So let me just come in here. Okay, so these are the components because we've gotten, I created some sort of, you know, a loader. We have a loader here. We have a MasterCard icon here and we have these service providers right here. And I did a little uh, background design right here that we can use, that we're going to use. Now, this is not actually difficult to get, okay? You, you can actually recreate this, but I want us to work faster. Um, I assume that a lot of us can actually recreate some of these things. But if you don't know how to do it, that's not a big problem. I'll just show you how to get this. But I want you guys to get started ASAP, okay? And we have this num keypad here. And the base component for the num keypads, okay? And then we have our new menu here. So later on, you can actually create a, a separate file. Okay, a separate page or a separate file to just, you know, recreate some of these things. They are not difficult. For instance, uh, this particular shape right here, uh, I wouldn't want you to worry that when we get to advanced design, we can advance UI design. We'll talk about that. Remember, we just want to master Figma for now. So let me go ahead and select all these things here. Let me just do a general selection. Okay, so let me copy. Once I copy this, remember there are components. So if I come back to my design, all I need to do is to paste them. Okay, so I've pasted it. So you can drop it this side or you drop it this side, okay? So anywhere you think is more convenient for you, you can drop it. So we are going to be making use of them for this particular design. So basically today we are going to be designing three flows. The first one is adding money to your card, uh, to your app. So if you just downloaded the app, the first thing you probably want to do is to add money, right? So we want to create uh, the flow for adding money. And then the next thing we want to create is the flow for purchasing airtime and the flow for purchasing utility bills, okay? Uh, so then, uh, the, the, let me just quickly explain so that you, you can actually understand what we're trying to do. So when you download the app, the first thing you want to do is to fund this app. And the main thing is that we don't even want you to leave your card on this app so that uh, you, we can actually solve the problem of you not risking your card or walking around with your bank account uh, apps on your phone, right? So we don't want you to save this card, but we are aware some people don't care and would want to save their card. Either way, we are going to give them that option, okay? Um, so how do you actually add money? So to add money, all you need to do is to go to a particular screen. The screen is going to say, okay, how much do you want to add? You specify, I want to add so, 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 and so. Once you do that, you click on continue, impute your credit card details and then complete and then your credit card, your ATM card is charged, okay? Once it's charged, your money will be loaded. Shikina, that is basically what we are trying to what, create. Then after that, we'll create how to buy airtime and how to... Uh, how to work on uh, buy utility bills, okay? So without further ado, I've already said so much. I just want you to get a background of what we are trying to achieve right now. So let's go ahead and start designing. So I'm not going to start from scratch. So the first thing I want to do once I paste in this element is I want to go ahead and change this, our uh, nav, the tab bar. So I'm just going to delete this one, okay? Let me pick this one, the new, the new tab bar now. Let me pick the new tab bar and duplicate this, okay? So the new tab bar, I'm just going to drag it in right here where it belongs. So it's going to be right there, okay? So drag it in and... Um, center it properly okay center it properly and you want to also make sure remember if we should activate this guide okay this guide you can see you want to make sure it is somewhere here right so let's move it down okay great so that is about 22 
pixel remaining. So that's where you want it to be. If you want, you can try to move it up if you want, okay? But that place is okay. So let me go ahead and hide it. Uh, let's just follow our convention and make it 24. Let me go up two times, one, two. So we are 24 below uh, the bottom. So that is where our nav bar should be. Let me copy it also and also paste it here. So we have our nav bar right there, okay? Our tab bar, sorry. So we have this new tab bar replacing these guys, uh, the old guy. I just did that one. Like I told you guys, we are supposed to test it and see which one works better. But I just decided we should do this. But later we can still text it because, you know, this one pops up. Why this one? Everything is there. And then we can, based on reasons uh, we find from our uh, inquiries or, and, and, and research, we can choose the one that works. But for now, let's go with that. The next thing, let's start building out these pages. So let me pick i think i'll pick this page okay i'll pick this page and control d because remember once you click on add spending money you're already inside the app so you don't see this top uh navigational elements anymore this top uh tab bar you don't see it what you see instead is the back button so let me go ahead and just select this to okay let me delete this i think i will need this because it's all about putting in money okay so i think i will need that let's uh, go in to our assets remember we brought in a background so let's look for that background okay this background is not a component okay so select it should we make it a component okay let's just make it a component so create a component let's call it B bg graphics okay so let's drag it in that's bg graphics right there okay so zoom in make sure you don't reduce the size I, I left it like this so that you can easily, you know, stick it to the top center and then to the top. Okay. So let's push it to the back. Send to back. That's, that means you right click, then select send to back. Okay. Now, the reason why we are not seeing it is because we actually have another background. Remember this background? Yes. So also select this one and you want to do send to back. Okay. Then you have this. Great. Now, since we have this Deep background you want to select this and make this one our uh blue 50 okay that's primary 50 that's what you want to do and here let's go and pick this the dashboard let's pick this and then we want to bring it here and paste it make sure you select that frame then paste then you want to move it down okay Let's move it down. Okay. Uh, let's go and measure. I think we use the particular measurements. Let's go and measure. Let me open this up. Oh, no need to. Yeah. Let me open this up and see, check out our guide. I want to see how I want to take a look at the distance we used for it. Okay. We placed it right here and let's go back, hide that guide. Okay. And for this, we're just going to say, okay, this is 11, obviously, let's go to 16. Okay, perfect. Then we want to, let's rename this frame to add money, add amount, okay, add amount. So this we can decide to call um, add money, okay. Then let's also change the color to uh, 50, 50%. Okay, so we have admin right there. So once you do this, the next thing is to create, uh, to arrange this form to look better now, okay? So I think I also want, my, want to increase this to 24 instead of 16, so that we just have enough space, okay? So everything can reach fine. Now, don't forget to open this up on your phone so that you can actually preview what's going on. Let's activate our grid. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and select this. Remember, I want to make this very flexible. Let me check. Okay, you can see it's not very flexible. So select inside this form. And instead of hog, you want to make it fill container. Okay, this one too, you want to make it fill container. So let's see what's going on now. Okay. Um, you want to make everything inside fill container. Okay, so we have this first. Let's call this one form container. Okay. Okay, uh, good. Uh, later on, we'll look at how to actually name. You know, we have like a, a name convention that is more professional, but for now, just use anything that uh, makes more sense to you. Okay. 
uh, everything that's set to hub, we want to set to fill container. So we can actually easily adjust it. Let me click on this form container and let me see. Okay, this particular email right here, that's this, I think, here, is set to fill and it's set to fill. Okay. I want it to be very adjustable. Okay. There is a particular one that is not adjusting and it's not set to fill. Maybe here. Fill, fill. Okay, that's it fixed. So you want to make it fill. Okay. Um, let's see. Form container. Let me check if it's working now. Okay, great. So just make sure everything inside this uh, form container is filled okay it's set to few con few containers so that's uh it expand so here i'm just going to type in uh amount enter amount okay enter amount you want to also use capital a right there and for this main form container let's go and add a color there uh, let's use color white Okay, so we want to go ahead and add, uh, let's use 16 here and uh, 16 here. Okay, let's also make the curve clip content. Make sure you clip content. And let's also go and make the curve 16. So I think this should work. Okay, I, I don't know, this button, I think I might want to use the main primary button instead of this grade one okay but let, let's just keep going let's change this to continue okay let's call this continue and we don't want this uh this thing here so we don't want that right icon we don't want the right icon uh for this let us make it empty okay so later we can add in content so for user input we're just going to say no no user input for now and for this content as well, let's remove it. So this is what we are going to have now for the for the form for the money. Uh, this uh, amount where we have this money form, and I think the spacing for this particular place is a little bit small. Okay, it's a little bit small, but we are going to just uh, work with this. I'm having an issue with this button. I think we should revert back to our main button. You know, we added this blue gradient to this one. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, let me just go to assets. Let's go to assets. Let's look for a button there. Let's drag it in and compare. So set this to fill container. Okay. We don't want any of these. We also want to go ahead. Okay. Instead of button, let's type in continue. Continue. Okay. Great. That's, that's the one we'll go with. Let's go with this. Let's leave this guy. Let's take this guy away. And here, instead of 56, we are just going to have 32. Okay. Okay. Uh, fixed. Okay. We're going to have 32 right there. Make sure it's 32. Okay. 32. Okay. Um, for this top bottom, let's also go with 32. So we have enough, uh, enough height right there. Let's also check 32 here. Okay. Although I think, uh, the other one makes more sense, but let's go with this. This is also fine. Okay. Now with this, we've actually sorted out, uh, this particular screen. So we've designed for this particular screen. Let me go ahead now. And then import our our keyboard because we need our keyboard now. So let's go in, pick the keyboard. Uh, you can also pick it from here. This is the numpad. Let's drag it in there. Okay. So we have our numpad right here because once you are adding money, once you are designing a screen that needs uh, input, it's important to add the keypad. So later on, we'll still go back to the sign up forms to add those keypads. Okay. So it's always better to add them up so you can, uh, fix things faster. So like I said, this, uh, this thing is actually very small. I think we used for, let's go back to the main components where we have the inputs and take a look at what's going on there. Okay. So this is where we have these guys. 
So we have uh, for this impute, we have just about eight, let's see 16. Let me see how it is. Okay, let, let's just leave this now. Probably later we come back to it. Thank God, uh, since it's a component, we can always adjust things easily. So now we are good to go. The next thing we want to create is uh, where the um, user enters the credit card details, right? So for that, uh, remember this form, our forms, we should have that white outline. So let's use 24. I'm thinking 24 left and right is better. 24 is better off than the 32, okay? So 24 is great. So let's go and add that outline, the stroke. The stroke is 50%. Okay, great. Um, next, we want to duplicate this amount. And then we're going to call this card details, card details, okay? Card details. Now, I know you might probably still have issues trying to make this very responsive. Just go inside. Keep clicking inside and making sure all those ones that have fixed width, you set it to um, few container, okay? So here we are going to call here card details, okay? Okay, so for here, we are going to put in card number for this, card number, and we are going to duplicate it. Okay, we are going to duplicate it, Control D. And when we duplicate it, we are going to make it two, Control D again. So this is going to be uh, EXP expiry date, sorry, EXP expiry date. And for this one, it's going to be CVV, but they are going to be in the same uh, in the same line. So I'm selecting this, okay, and this, and I'm going to do shift A. Then I want to make them flow this way. You can see because we've already made it uh, uh, responsive, you can see the way they just adjusted. So that's what we want. And we want to also duplicate this, bring it to the, gra uh, to the bottom part, and then type in name on card, okay? Name on card. Now we are going to create just uh, one more. We are going to create one more component right away. So the component we are going to create. So you, you can see this is between this, not actually between the button. So I'm going to select this uh, one, two, three, add them in an auto layout, shift A, then reduce the size between them to like 16. So, you know, it's different from the button. So we want something, let's use 24. We want something a little bit better than the whole spacing that we have for them. So once you're here, we already have our keypad here. Obviously, this is not going to just be the, it's going to probably be the alphabet keypad, but we don't have the alphabet keypad here. I don't have the alphabet keypad in Maybe by tomorrow, we'll replace this with the alphabet keypad. Also, you could also go to Apple design system or Android material design system and pick keyboards. But please don't do that now. Just use this one. When we get to the advanced UI parts, we'll start picking things from there. Okay. Um, one thing I also want to add here now is the disclaim, uh, the safe card. Okay. Let's pick our text to, uh, let me see. This is, uh, I think we are missing something here. Okay, we are definitely missing something. So increase this, yes. Increase this, I just saw that now. So this is the essence of your grid. Oh, we didn't mix something. We didn't actually center it well, basically. So center, okay, so let's see. Okay, 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 we didn't miss. We basically didn't center it well. So select this one also, and then align it well. That's if you didn't align yours well. So it's aligned well now. So the next thing we want to do is to get it from the, uh, let's type in uh, securely, securely save card, save this card. And in brackets, we are going to put not recommended. So we don't want people to actually do this, right? But some people just have coconut head. So 
even if they are seeing not recommended, they'll go ahead and put it. So let's use our not bold, the one that is not bold. Uh, this body bold, we don't want the body bold. We want uh, somewhere, something here, edge is small, good. Where is it? Small, okay, great. And now you want to go to assets and search for check. So we'll pick this check circle, okay? And drop it here. Usually you would want to convert this to a component and create variant so you can actually uh, animate, uh, do smart animate. So let's go ahead and do that. So create this now. Okay, so let's call this uh, ch uh, check box. Okay, check box. Okay, so we're gonna create a variant. And for this first one, we're gonna say state states uh, default and clicked or uh, selected uh, let's just say activate active okay so once you are here instead of this neutral 500 let's go ahead with our blue 100 blue 100 and once it's selected it should move to our blue 500 right yeah great okay so let's go ahead and pick this and let's type check now okay so this is checkbox. Let's look for checkbox there. It should be there. Okay, here is it. So let's drag it out. And we're going to pick it and select this and then do shift A. Want to, you know, checkbox. Let's just name it checkbox so we know what we're doing. So let's put the space between them to eight and no pattern whatsoever. They already look good. So let's just go ahead and then drag it in right there right here oops oh that's color change this color it's not supposed to be white it should be our primary 900 okay so just cut it select the main form that select where you have your cards and then paste it so that it's inside there so for this we are also going to use fill container so that it adjusts itself so uh, select that font too and set it to fill container Okay, so we're having two line break, which is not good. But let's see. Let's see. We might even need to. So remember, let me select this red. This is not, not recommended. I just want to highlight it and change that one's color to the danger. Uh, danger 500. Because we really don't want people to do this. Okay, uh, should I just put it on a new line? Let's see. Okay. Okay, I think we should just put that on a new line. It's uh, it's better. Though I would have preferred it one line. Probably I would have used 12, but no, it might be too small. So the next thing we forgot to fix here is this particular one. Okay, so let's measure. 69 is just too much, okay? 69 is too much. It's uh, too far. So let's work with 40. So let's work with 40. Let's select this and then measure the 69. You want to work with 40. Okay, good. Let's also move this to 40. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now we have this here. We have this here. Uh, let me do this. Save. Securely save card. Uh, not save this card. Let me see if it's okay still not it's no need so let's let, let's just leave it like this um once we've done this that means we've but uh, we've actually filled in here let's push this uh, guy somewhere else let's, let's put this somewhere else and then so the next thing once you enter your card details the next thing is going to be probably you uh fit filling in uh the, the system basically loading okay loading and uh, performing your transaction so what we want to do now is to go ahead and click here okay let me do ctrl d ctrl d and we're going to say confirmation okay confirmation okay now what we're going to do here is basically we are trying to simulate that um this particular screen 
the, the transaction. Once you click on, okay, here, instead of continue, here you have pay now. Okay, complete payment. Let's use complete payment. Okay, complete top up. Okay, let's call it complete top up. Okay, let's also change that here. Complete. Okay, top up. Okay, we can always adjust the grammars later, but for now, let's uh, let's go ahead with adding all these things. So we want to simulate the loading effect. Now, when it comes to animations, micro interactions, yes, yeah, sometimes, like I told you guys uh, during Saturday's live, you can actually simulate some of these things using figma but sometimes it can get hectic although now with figma variables uh life is made easier but this particular bootcamp we're not going to be covering variables okay um once you've grabbed the basics you can these are things you can pick up within one week of you know uh, learning about them or two weeks basically so we're not going to be touching variables but Really, in the real world, when you want to create uh, animations for web, most of the time, these are the uh, softwares you use. You use something like Loti Files or my next favorite, which is Jitter. So these are the ones you use to create uh, animations, you can see. But please, don't come to this website today. Don't come to this website next week or next, even next two months. Don't come to this website. Once you've gotten a grasp of design and uh, UX design, okay, and UI design, you can come back here and start, uh, you know, building your animation skills. So they are not difficult. To be honest, they are not difficult. In fact, you can even start with templates, you know, let's assume because right now we need like a loading animation. So if we needed a loading animation, you can just come in here and maybe type in something like um, loader. Okay. Let me also come to Google. You can do the same thing. So basically, uh, let's type in loader right there. So it's, you can see, and uh, UI loader. Okay. So UI loader. Okay. So if I should go to image now, I might specify, I might want to specify GIF. Okay. You might want to specify GIF. So you can see different ones you could, you know, just download and then use for yourself. So you can see all these ones from Loti files as well. Okay. It's basically loading. So some of these things you can use them, but I don't want you to come here now. Later you can learn these parts, you know, on your own, but this is not a prerequisite. So I've created the loader for us. I did a loader here. So we have this small loader. Okay. We have this small loader right here. So we are going to be using this small, small loader to create ours. So, uh, what I want you to also do now is to just pick this loader. We're going to create it. Okay. We're going to create a loader. So this loader here, if you go to your layer, so if you open up this loader right here, okay, let me click on it. Uh, let me click on it again. So if you open up this loader right here, you can see it has this icon that you're not seeing because it's notched out of the frame. You can see this frame is using clip content, okay? So you can see that uh, good icon there that says complete, right? We'll make use of that, okay? Now you can also see the GIF, uh, the GIF uh, animation. Okay, you can see the GIF animation right there. And you can actually see it now because, uh, but if you are viewing this on your phone, you should see that it's rotating, okay? So we just use basic rotation. So we're going to use this to build our loader. So let me pick it up. Let me zoom in, okay? So I'm zooming in and, uh, okay. So we want to drop it here. So basically what we want to do here now is to get a background because we want this covered, okay? We want this covered. So everything here, everything here, everything here, everything here, and this, and this, we are going to lock, okay? So we are going to lock everything, lock, and let me select this form, lock, 
okay because we don't want to mistakenly move it this one too you want to lock it this one you also want to lock it okay uh, okay you also want to lock this okay you want to lock everything so everything is locked the next thing you want to do now is to select a rectangle okay let's select a rectangle and draw on top let's draw on top and make sure it's uh, perfectly drawn okay and let's drag it to the top so we want to do this and let's go ahead and give it a uh, color white let's use this color white actually we have not created uh, some effect so let's go ahead and create an effect here let's give it white and on this white let's come and make it 10 percent and then once you've made it 10 percent we want to go to effect so click on this plus sign and instead of drop shadow let's use background blur okay so we want to blur that background and we want to blow it up to like 50 okay uh, i think that is uh, that is okay let's see 40 okay i think 50 is fine let's go with 50 where we can barely see what is there and um let's also come and check uh, this white to be five percent okay i think five percent is also okay great so now let's uh, go ahead and also lock that guy okay and uh, let's drag this here let's drag it here and then center it appropriately okay although i'm not sure it's going to be at the center i don't want it to be at the center i'm just going to drag it up okay so we are going to have this loader right here but remember with all loaders you have to give like some kind of cue some kind of uh, feedback to let the user know exactly what's going on so for that i'm going to pick my text tool and i'm going to say maybe uh, loading uh, loading doesn't make any sense but uh, <laughs> let's go with loading and okay let's put in performing transaction performing transaction uh, let's just put loading let's put loading okay and i also want us to pick duplicate this as well and then let's put in please wait so the person can have patience okay please wait so for this particular one let's go ahead and give it um our small text not uh, our small text uh, 12 uh where is it body small okay not the bold one body small 12 okay for this particular one let's go and give it uh 14 bold uh 16 bold let's use 16 let's use that 16 mini uh this particular 16 base semi bold okay i think this is okay semi bold 16 let's select these two now and do shift a sorry i think uh, we need to color them shift a so let's give it them the same color for instead of this black let's go there now and choose five, uh, 900 okay so that's what we want shift a and for the space between them let's leave it at zero because they already have a good amount of line spacing or should we just make it four let's uh, let's see eight now let's go with four okay let's go with four i think four is fine okay so let's also select this and this one and let's add a shift a okay let's give it um shift a let's add it in an auto frame but this particular auto frame sorry uh, oops so select the two select one and select two shift a for this particular auto frame i'm going to give it uh, a fixed a fixed uh, height and width okay select it select what's going on okay shift a okay oh, good so i want to give it a fixed height and width so for this i want to go ahead and put in 250 for the width and also 250 for the height then we also align it to the center 250 for the height and then we also align it to the center let's take it back to the center so this is what we have this is basically what we have now and we want it to load okay and when it loads at some point it says okay success okay uh, okay i think we need one more thing we need our button our button to tell the person okay it's done the transaction is done okay so let's get the button and let's drop that button right there okay 
no, the, the button should be right inside the main thing, not those, this way, okay. Yes, so this will want the button. We don't want any icon. And instead of the button, we're going to put done. Okay, so this is what we need. Now, remember we talked about how to actually animate things, okay? And maybe for this shadow, for this uh, uh, layer blur, let me see if I can make some adjustments. There's this particular rectangle here. Let me see if I can make some adjustments. Let me see. Maybe I want to make this few 75. Okay. And for my blur, let me make it 15. Uh, okay. I think this is uh, this is better. Run. Okay. This is better. Off. Uh, let me take this to like 25. Okay. Because I barely want to see it. That's how I want it. Okay. For this particular one, I barely want to see it. There are some you probably see clearer. Uh, if I make this 20, okay? So we barely want to see it, but we still want to know what is behind so that we know exactly where, what we're doing. So later on, we'll convert this to a style so that we can reuse it. So basically what we want is when this thing completes, you are not going to see done, but when it completes, you are going to have done. So what do you do? Let's, let me duplicate this. So let's have the ending part, okay? Remember, I just want to do two of them. So the, on the ending part, on this start part, okay? I obviously don't want to see the button. So I'm coming to this button now, okay? And I'm hiding it. Now on the ending part, once it ends, I want to see that button, okay? So for the ending part, this is what I want you to do. Come in here, select this please wait, and hide it okay then for the loading let's do successful so sometimes you might want to create different one maybe when it's not successful what should happen okay but we are going to assume it's going to be successful later we can come back to add variants it's not a big deal okay so for this frame now open up this frame you see this uh complete i want you to just select it from the frame then go and put it in the middle, okay? And then here, it should come in now. Now for this give, I just want you to use your arrow key on your keyboard to nudge it down. Remember why it's disappearing is because we activated clip content, okay? So nudge it down. Okay, great. So this is what we want. So we want to see this when it's loading and then we want to see this when it's done. So let's select these two now, select these two. And let's call it uh, create component set. Let's say create component set. Okay. Let's go ahead and name that component set as loader or spinner. Okay. Loader. And I'm going to move it away. I'm going to move it away. So let's uh, animate it there. So select this. Now we're going to go to prototype. Okay. And we're going to click from here to here, but this time around, we're not doing on tap. Okay. Because we want this to happen automatically. So let's click on it and say after delay. Now for after delay, we're going to use like three seconds. So let's go in, or let's just use 2400 milliseconds, 2400 milliseconds. Okay. 2400 milliseconds. And here we want to change this instant to smart animate. Okay. And this smart animate, we want to use um, bouncy. Okay. Let's use quick instead. Let's use quick. Okay. And uh, I want to obviously select here, go back to design now. And let me make this, uh, let me call this end. Let me just insert a property. Let's call it state. Okay. So, uh, success end so that in case we want to create error state we can say error end uh, let's come back to prototype and see what we did basically so we added an interaction here we said it should be after delay that means it shouldn't wait for any inter interaction or uh, maybe touch or hover instead it should just wait once is 2400 milliseconds it should change to this other one so let's try that out so i'm very sure you should open this on your phone but if you don't have it on your phone um just so that everyone sees what we're doing i'm trying to arrange these things well okay just so that everyone is following let me go ahead and launch this uh preview okay let me bring this preview just right here 
then uh, we are going to bring in that loader. So let's go in and get the loader. Let's come back to design. Let's go in and get the loader. Okay. So come to assets. Now, once you're on assets, I want you to go ahead and search loader. Okay. Uh, it should come up. This is it. So drag it and put it right here. And let's just make it from here. Okay. That's 150. Okay. Let's center it. I think you should start from uh, here where we have this. Just move it down so that it starts. Start from there. Okay. Okay, great. That's what we want. And that's about 182. So you can see what's going on here. You can see it loads. And once it reaches to three seconds, it's going to like, you know, go to the other state. Let me see, it's taking so much time. Oh, I think I, I 2004, oh, that's much. That's much. Let's come in here and, uh, sorry. Let's come in here. Let's come into prototype and edit that. I think, uh, let me, I'm trying to zoom in so that I can pick it up. As I can see, okay. So, okay. So let's do one thousand six hundred. Uh, let's just let's do one thousand six hundred, okay. And let's uh, retry it because it was too slow. So one thousand six hundred. Let's see how one thousand six hundred fares, okay. So let's select this, come back, then select this and see what happens. Okay, when we come here, it loads, it loads, it loads. Oh, I think it's fast now. I think uh, maybe it was my system, but it was a little bit slow. So let's take it back to three, uh, 2,600, okay? So let me just move this away and let's come back in here, prototype. Yeah, two, uh, three, 2,006 is perfectly okay. 2600 ms okay that's uh, very close to three seconds okay let's come back here okay so let's test this again card details okay and uh, let's click on payment confirmation bam 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 it's going to change now okay great so that is what we want right there okay now we've almost done the most difficult part of this tutorial which is basically the spinner so let's go ahead and close this okay and let's do the last screen so basically once you are done making the payment okay once you are done making the payment it should reflect so i'm going to copy this now ctrl d it should reflect right here and uh, drop it just there okay let me push these things this way and then we want to space this and then indicate that, okay, the money entered. So from zero, it is now five. Let's just say he entered, he added 5,000 there. Now I know someone who is probably going to put 5 billion error here. <laughs> so now successful. And once you get to this particular place, this goes away, okay, because if I actually added money okay so this goes away for you to start uh, spending your money and we are going to assume the person clicked on save card so we are going to also pick this or let's assume the person didn't click on save card so this is the interface you are going to have okay so if you're here congratulations uh i will see you in part two where we finally get to design the flow for purchasing airtime and also paying bills. See you in the next class.